Hey friends, Father Allen here. Good to see you. Thanks for tuning in. So we're almost there. Pentecost just around the corner. I'm enjoying a little uh, double espresso here. Mid-afternoon, a little boost for myself. And as I'm doing so, I just... Sorry. I just finished reviewing the notes I made on Cardinal Sarah's book, The Day Is Now Far Spent. Not being paid to say this, but it's a good book. I encourage you to get yourself a copy and read through it. The day is now far spent. And I just want to bring to your attention what he said about cell phones. Now, this may seem, uh, I don't know, interesting. You might be watching this little video on your cell phone. Anyway, cell phones are not bad in and of themselves, but Cardinal Sarah is really encouraging us to develop what I call a cell phone phone free zone do i have maybe a particular day or a couple hours of the day when i turn my cell phone off do i have places in my life at home at work in the car at the gym wherever that i just i just don't take it with me i leave it i turn it off and i just surrender that time over uh, to the lord being much more available to him and the service of others. Anyway, this is what Cardinal Sarah says about cell phones, and I just encourage you to consider it and see if it challenges you, because it certainly challenged me. I am struck by all the persons who spend endless time with their mobile telephone, absorbed by images, lights, ghosts. The eternal present is an eternal illusion a little prison cell. A mobile phone constantly transports us out of ourselves. It cuts us off from any interior life. It gives us a sense of always traveling across continents, allowing us to be in contact with everybody. In reality, it empties us of our interior life and puts us down in the world of ephemeral things. A mobile phone makes us lose real contact. It projects us toward what is far off and inaccessible. It gives us the impression of generating space and time, of being gods capable of communicating without being stopped by any obstacle. This insane communication device steals silence, destroys the richness of solitude, and tramples on intimacy. It often happens that they snatch us away from our loving life with God to expose us to the periphery, to what is external to us in the midst of the world. Now we need cell phones to communicate, but are they becoming much more than that? Are cell phones occupying way too much of our time, way too much of our attention? Are they just becoming these little gods in our life? Want to renounce that? Want to hear the Lord calling us to more intimacy and more solitude and prayer with him? So here's my challenge again. Will you ask the Lord, for his inspiration and in how to cultivate and create in your life, as I'm striving to do in my own, to have a cell free, cell phone free zone. A cell phone free zone. God bless your day. Remember, when we're powerless, that's when we're strong, and victory is indeed gained through surrender. Bye bye.